Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, you will learn how to use VLOOKUP function in Google Sheet. You will learn the different ways of the VLOOKUP like how we can use the VLOOKUP with column, how we can use the VLOOKUP with match, how we can use the double VLOOKUP, error handling in the VLOOKUP, as well as you will learn how to create the buckets or aging using the VLOOKUP function in Google Sheet. So let's start without delay. Here we have this data, employee ID, employee name, login hours, AST, average handle time and call handled. Okay, then here we have the login ID and the employee ID, the another table. So first we will use this table and we will use the normal VLOOKUP. Here we have three employee ID and we have to get the employee name, login hours, AST and call handled using this table. So to use the VLOOKUP function here, we will simply use equal to and type VLOOKUP or you can press tab. First, after putting the VLOOKUP, we will use the search key. Search key will be this one, which is the employee ID A17. We will put the dollar sign before A just to freeze this because when we will use the same formula in the another column, the search key will remain same for this row. For next row it will be changed which will be A18 so we haven't freeze this 17. Use comma and then select this range. The whole range. Press F4 to freeze this range comma. First we need the employee name so we will put here index 2 comma. We will put here 0 or false because we want to get the exact match. Just close the bracket and hit the enter. So we are getting the employee name here you can see we can fill this down to get the other names also we can copy this formula here also but we are getting the employee name because we have taken here column 2 on a column 2 we have the employee name here so we will put here 3 to get the login hours here you can see we have login hours at column 3 we are getting the login hours for this employee let me show you this employee here you can see okay and similarly for this employee here you can see the last one here you can see okay we can use the same formula here and here also we will just change the column number we will take here 4 and here we will take 5 okay just fill this down now we have got all the information using the VLOOKUP this was the normal VLOOKUP now I will show you how we can use the VLOOKUP function with columns because we know our data is in sequence and we are just putting here 3, then here 4, here 5 and here we have put 2. So we will use the column function, rest will remain same. So let's use again VLOOKUP and select this range as a search key and put the dollar sign here before A comma. Select this range wherein we want to search the data press F4 comma in place of 2 we want to make this dynamic so we will use the column number so this is the column number 2 3 4 5 okay so we will use the column function here use column function and reference you can select any reference of the column 2 let's say I am selecting V1 just close the bracket comma 0 and just close it so this will return 2 okay just hit the enter and we are getting the name of the employee let's fill this down and select this and press ctrl r to fill right so we are getting all information without changing the formula here we have changed manually like put 3 then 4 and 5 but here we just have used the column function and we are getting the output okay now let's come down to the another function which is vlookup with match so let's say if we are using the same formula here, let's paste that. Now the only problem is we have the employee ID, then we have here AST. In this case, we have here employee name and login hours. So this is not AST, this was the AST and this was the login hours. That means the sequence of the headers is changed. So this column function will work only where header is in proper sequence. Okay, so it will not work here because AST is first than login hours so it is not in proper sequence let's use here vlookup and let's take this search key put dollar sign here before a comma select this range available on top 
press F4 to freeze this comma. Now to make the dynamic number here we will use match function match and in the match function first we will provide search key and match key let's put this cell which is B30 basically the employee name header okay let's put the dollar sign before 30 this time because the row will remain same and the column will be changed when we will paste this formula into next column comma this range so select this whole header range available on the top press f4 to freeze this comma zero for the exact match close the bracket so match function is completed now comma put another zero for the vlookup okay just close the bracket and hit the enter so we are getting the employee name here and let's copy this formula and paste in whole range so we are getting all the information AST is here then we are getting AST login hours is here then we are getting login hours if I type employee name here in place of login hours automatically it will pick up the employee name because it is connected with the headers now all right now the next one is the double v lookup so we use the double v lookup when we refer the value from another table also let's say here we have the login id we don't have the employee id we have here login id in this case okay and let me show you the table once again we don't have the login id in this table but we have another table wherein we have the login id then the employee id so first what we will do we will search the employee id on the basis of this login id and once we will get the employee id then we will use vlookup to find out the other values using employee id so here we will use the double vlookup let me show you so let's use first vlookup using normal vlookup function this cell and put the dollar here before a comma let's select this range freeze this press f4 comma 2 comma 0 so on the basis of login id first we are getting the employee id but we need the employee name here not the employee id and login hours and other things okay so we will consider this whole value as a search key for another vlookup so use another vlookup here before this vlookup and put here comma then we will select this range press f4 to freeze this and we can use now match function column function or manually we can put here 2 comma 0 and just close the bracket so we are getting the name here okay so if you will see we are using here two vlookup so that is why i was saying we are using the double vlookup here okay now we can copy this and we can fill this here and fill this right also but we have to change the column number or we can use here column function also let's use here column function and select this column number and just close the bracket now we can copy this and paste here to get other values and you can paste this here also so it's a dynamic now all right friends now the next thing using the vlookup that is error handling let's select this range and copy and just paste here now if you will see we are getting few has any just because these login ids are not available here okay and to get the rid of this error or you want to show something else in place of this error you can use the if error function before the vlookup if error click it in the last just put comma let's say i want to show this dash sign in place of error just close hit the enter so we are getting this dash sign and let's paste that here so if that value is not available it will show this dash not the error okay so that is how you can handle the error in place of this dash you can put like not found or you can put blank whatever you want okay now let's move to the last trick of the vlookup that is aging or buckets creation using the vlookup here we have the employee name and we have the age of the employee we have created another table that is year and the buckets so 0 to 20 this is first bucket 21 to 30 31 to 40 and similarly the other now we want to get here that bucket so we can use the if function but it might take time and in future we can add more buckets also so we have to make it dynamic here rather than using the if function we will use vlookup function let me show you use here vlookup search key let's select this one comma select this range press f4 to freeze this put two comma we will not put here comma zero either we can put here one or true or we will leave it as it is then we will get 
the bucket okay and just fill this down if you will use here comma zero and close you will not get the values we are getting only one value and that is just because of we have 31 here zero is used for exact match and one is used for approximate match so use the one or by default value is one you can just remove this just put two and just fill this down all right friends so friends that is how you can use the vlookup function in the different ways in google sheet you can use this in your daily report or your dashboard friends i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for watching